I'm going to warn you ahead of time. Today's gonna to be bad and short. Short and bad. How do I know that? Because I'm shooting this segment at the end of my ramblings and through the magic of computer editing, I'm gonna move this hunk to the front. So the first thing you're gonna see is me talking about how bad this is. Why do I do that? Because I am your friend. Good morning. Today's kind of special. It's a holiday. Memorial Day. You know what that means? Barbecue! That's what most people do. Not so much at my house. My wife is hesitant about going out and buying good, high-quality food to put on the grill. I'm not the best barbecuer. You know, here you hear a lot of people brag about their five-alarm chili or their five-alarm barbecue sauce because it's so spicy and hot. <laughs> five-alarm barbecues, but it's because my barbecues are an incendiary event. People have full outfitted kitchens. Those fancy stainless steel kitchens. They got stainless steel stoves and stainless steel vent hoods above the stove and stainless steel refrigerators and stainless steel sinks costing thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars just so they can get their kitchen to look exactly like the cooking area of a McDonald's restaurant. Back when I was young, kitchens didn't look industrial. They looked homey, they looked inviting. We had wood, we had nice porcelain fixtures, we had Avocado refrigerators to match the avocado stove, dark wood, orange throw rugs, you know, maybe McDonald's isn't so bad. You know, it's weird about barbecuing. People go out and buy an expensive piece of meat, pay $30 for a steak raised by the latest scientific methods, USDA choice, corn-fed beef, purple ink stamped all over it to show how good it is. Bring it home, and then they marinate it overnight, exotic spices, cilantro, $70 a pound, or whatever cilantro is. Get it to just where they want it, then they drag it outside, cook it like a caveman. Flames everywhere, sweat pouring down their brow, waving those stainless steel spatulas around. Keep the other cavemen away from their grills. Every once in a while the charcoal crackles, a spark flies out of there, starts something on fire. Gotta put it out with charcoal lighter. Yeah, it used to be when I was a kid, charcoal lighter was flammable. The FDA or the USDA or the Alcohol, Tobacco and Firearms Agency, I don't know who it is. They took care of that, so we don't want anything flammable around our fires. Please keep all hands and feet inside the ride until it comes to a complete...